father were both married for many years. He was 58 and I was 32. Uh, my husband was ill for about eight years and the last four years seriously. Uh, I had him home with hospice and his wife, may she, you tell her. Well, my wife, she, she had uh, cancer and uh, we fought the cancer for four years and it was terminal. And yes. so at, at the, after the, uh, her death, I was uh, somewhat depressed and, and a friend of mine uh, brought, brought me up here to the senior activities. I, I was a widow uh, in because he needed to get out with people. That's what these centers are all about, old people getting together and doing things together and keeping their minds going. And so how it all started, we just was talking, became friends. He heard me say I'd never get married again. And I put a challenge right up there in that brain, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, he needed so someone, he, and I didn't realize that my house was so empty until he came into it. So we respected each other first, number one, because we we took care of our loved ones that went on, and and so as time went on, well, we just he he well, we had our first date. Uh, May the 10th. Tell me out there, this man invited me out to lunch. He said, Nanny, go for it. So anyway. I'm most nervous, <laughs> more so than you are when you're young. It, it's hard after you've had one life style, and, and then it changes, right, dear? <laughs> yes. It was hard. hard ever get now. Oh, he asked me to marry him September the 10th. Yes, that's when he proposed to me on his knees. <laughs> I, uh, Coming from a retired military background was quite different from your background. Oh yeah, that uh, we we blend the backgrounds together to the best way it works out. It took a little while, but we we, we made up our minds if we're going to have a relationship, then we have to do some changing in our ideas and our way of living. So that's what we worked on that and. And thank God, apparently, we're, we're still here. It's going to be five years. In any years. marriage, sometimes you you may speak out something, and then then you wish you hadn't. Well, then you, you need to go apologize. Uh, you know what I mean? We, we, of course, at our age, we we just don't have that much to disagree on. We, we, we think a lot alike, and we kind of grew up kind of a lot of life. We grew up in the country, both of us. I grew up in Mississippi and he grew up in East Texas. So we had a lot in common. Uh, and if you if you talk a lot, become friends before you ever get deeper into it, then you're safer. You're on safer ground. Yeah, yeah I, I said, well, no, you're never too old to love. Love is the most important thing in the world. Uh, hey, and here we go.